you're in the market for a new set of wheels. And although there are lots of different types available, you're probably wondering, should I get some deep section aero wheels or some lightweight climbing ones? But although deeps look really cool, I mean, they look mint, don't they? People often wonder, will they be okay on the climbs? Hmm, I wonder if deep section wheels can climb. So in this video, we're gonna find out if deep section wheels can climb. O Ollie, Ollie, sorry mate. Can I just interject? Yeah. We do know that deep wheels can climb. I mean, I showed you all on the angler route. Yeah, to be fair, you, you did. But you did use them as an excuse as to not going faster. Well, yeah, that's true. But we want to find out if there's a big difference and how much that difference is. So we've come to GCN's Test Mountain. Mountain? Yeah. At 261 meters high, 1.91 kilometers long, with an average gradient of a whopping 11%. It is, pre it is pretty steep, to be fair. Yeah, so the test is Ollie's going to do two runs one on the shallow wheels, one on the deep section rims. Winner takes all. Winner takes all? Yeah, it's competition. But it's only me doing it. So I'm going to win whatever I do. What are you talking about? That's a rubbish test. What we're actually going to do, right? is ride up twice, I'll ride up on the deeps, and then whatever power I do on the deeps... Wins. I'll do that power on the uh, shallow climbing wheels, and then we'll see how much the time difference is. So I'm going to keep the power the same with the quark. Yeah, we'll find out which one wins. A bit more scientific that way. Yeah. For our lightweight climbing wheels, we've gone for a seriously bling pair of Zip 202 NSWs. These are said to be the fastest accelerating carbon clincher Zip has ever made. And for good reason too. They weigh just 1,375 grams a pair, but they're still 33 millimeters deep. So, a little, little bit of aero. For our deep section wheels, we've gone very aero indeed. A pair of Vision Metron 81s. These are 81 millimeters deep, as the name suggests. They're carbon clinchers as well, like the Zips, and they've got aero bladed spokes. They're hand built and they weigh 1,770 grams. So they're about 400 grams heavier than our lightweight climbing pair. It'd be interesting to see if this makes any difference and if the added aero offsets it. Man, how, how come you're not doing this either? Uh, I can't climb very well, Ollie, so I think you're probably best for this. Well, that's a lie. Anyway, are you gonna time me down? Yeah. Give me the beep, the GCN beeps. Beep, 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 beep! Now the goal here is not for me to flog myself. I'm going to try and repeat the power that I do this time when I'm on the lighter wheels. But even at these speeds, which are slow, aerodynamics does make a difference. So I'm also making a mental note of how I ride the climb and where I get out the saddle. Some bits I have to get out the saddle on this climb. And then I'll repeat that as well. So there's a steeper section up here. I'm going to be out the saddle on that bit. <laughs> Go deep, deep rims, Ollie! It's, it's not a race, Hank. I've, I've got to, whatever I do this time, I've got to do it again. This is the finish line. Boff! Oh, good run, that. How'd that feel? It was all right. Yeah, so run one done. Uh, averaged 310 watts and did the climb in nine minutes and 12 seconds. They felt all right. You know, they don't, I don't, I didn't feel like a disadvantage. So we'll get, you run along, you get the uh, zips. Oh, that's my cue, is it? Yeah. All right, I'll see you there. And we'll uh, try and repeat that again. Oh, you sure you don't want to go mount on? No, no, you're fine, Ollie, no. How are you feeling for this one? Well, I'm all right. Oh, I'll get it done. Anyway, give me the beeps, yeah. Beep, beep. Beep, beep! Oh, that's gonna hit second time round. And Ollie Bridge, go Ollie! Instantly, as soon as I did the start and accelerated with the lighter rims, you definitely feel 
less sluggish. I mean, I don't think there's much in it, but you can feel it. Weird. We're heading up to the killer super steep section now. So it'd be interesting to see how they feel on that. Oh, that should be where there is most of the difference because it's where you're going slowest. Dig in, dig in, this no, is for I'm trying to do the same power for both. All right, look good though. We've got the results on the Wahoo, right? Mm. So just a quick recap, first one, 310 watts. I repeated that, I did 310 watts again. I'm quite proud of myself. Yeah, that's good effort, but what we really want to know is the time. Yeah, so in the first run, nine minutes, 12 for the deeps. Yeah. These. Right? Go on. Nine minutes, six. Oh, it's a it's much not, tighter than nothing. I thought. It's nothing, yeah. is it? Very little. I mean, it's almost within the realms, I'd say, of experimental error, but I'm pretty, pretty confident that that is about right. Yeah, interesting. Um, yeah, but one thing definitely is when, when you accelerate off the line, I reckon one of those seconds was on that bit, when I, just on the standing, on the start. Yeah, those are much quicker. They just quicker feel like they the do gate, spin up quicker. Mm. It's, you just feel, you can feel it. And on the really steep section, because I held momentum both times, I don't think there was much in it. But I think if, if I had suddenly lost momentum and, and had to accelerate at any point, again, I probably would have pulled out a bit of time with the, with the shallower ones. Mm. So on the whole, for me, the deeps win. Yeah. Well, they look the best, right? But, I mean, unless you're just doing a pure hill climb event where every second matters on a climb like this, you're gonna more than get that back on, on the downhill and on the flat with, with the deeps because the aerodynamics is just far superior. Now, the big question we ask then is why don't all the pros use deep section wheels like these ones? And there's a reason for that. A lot of the pros find them quite stressful to use. Not only do they catch that wind that little bit easier if you're in a crosswind, but also if you're trying to get food out of your pocket, then you're gonna have to take your hands off the bars, meaning these are open to get caught by the wind and you don't want to end up in a hedge, do we, Ollie? No, I, get, I think, the answer is, is to go with a mid-depth wheel, mm. something like a 40 or a 50, like we ride you know, most of the time. Yeah, best of both yeah, of us. Yeah, best of both but I mean, come on, they do look amazing. I mean, they sound amazing too. You know that sound, whoa, 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 whoa. Dubstep. Yeah, or a didgeridoo. Anyway, good, uh, good day today. I reckon we should good go science. home, go to the pub. What do yeah. you reckon? Yeah? I'll walk with these. All right, let's go. I'll, I'll, I'll go with you. Cheers, mate. You're going to walk at my pace? Yeah. I wonder if they're coming back for me. It's getting cold. 